Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and I've brought out some clay. I don't even remember how much this is, but it's a whole lot because it's heavy. And this stuff is always a hoot to shoot this stuff. We did a video already shooting high power deer rifles, 30, 30, 6, 5, Creedmoor, 308, and 30 out 6, shooting these same blocks. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But today, I did a poll on Instagram and asked what you guys wanted to see. And you guys said 7mm rim mag versus 300 wind mag. So that is what I brought out here today. And this is about to be a whole lot of fun. We're going to hit this. I've got a clean block for both of them, so no cheating. And we should be able to see on the slow motion cameras just how hard the 7mm Remington Magnum and the 300 Winchester Magnum smack this clay. There's a whole lot of people love their 300, a whole lot of people love their 7mm. Me, I lean a little bit towards the 7mm mag team. But, either which way, we're going to uh, blow a bunch of clay sky high. I am going to shoot the 300 wind mag first. Let's go load it up and see what happens to the clay. We'll go get the cameras turned on. It should be pretty cool. Now, before I forget to show you, let me show you, because I know you guys are going to ask me. This is the ammo I got. So... Federal makes this non-typical whitetail stuff for the 300 Win Mag. It's a 180 grain bullet, and then for the 7 millimeter Rem Mag, it's a 150 grain bullet. Why did I get this? Because it's the cheapest ammo I could find. So hey, let's see how it works out. 300 Win Mag first. All right, first shots of 300 Win Mag. This is my Remington 770. Got a Spike Camp Boyd's stock on it. Sucker's pretty slick. Let's uh, see what this thing does right here. Oh! I'm not kidding. Let me go shut these cameras off. I'm not kidding. A big piece of clay came back and just sucker punched me right here in my gut. Came right back at me. Like that hurt. That's going to bruise. Yeah. Check, so follow the Instagram, Hootie Who. I'll put up a picture of my bruised gut on Instagram, but let's go check out the damage. Let's run up here and take a look at it real quick. This is ridiculous. But it was up there with that little pizza pan it was sitting on it. But look at that. There's that main piece of clay right there. It just pretty much, pretty much turned that whole thing inside out. Yeah. That's ridiculous. We could probably use that in another video. But you can see there's a piece over there. Big piece there. A couple of pieces here and there, but man. Long story short, that 300 wind mag has got some power. I'm not kidding you. That took the breath out of me, that clay come back and hit me. Do not try this at home, but I can't wait to edit that slow-mo footage that you guys saw so I can see it myself. But let's go get another block of clay and uh, shoot it with the 7 millimeter rim mag. See what we get out of that, baby. All right, now for the 7 millimeter rim mag, this is actually also a 770 with a different Boyd stock on it. Let's see if I can hit this baby square right here. Hope it doesn't come back and hit me this time. Whoa! Hey, I think that did a little bit more crazy. Yeah, that went high. Wow. 
That did some crazy damage. Let's go take a look at that seven millimeter shot. Walking up to it. That one had a piece fly real high and it went up super high, probably about to those branches there. And then it came down and plopped right there. But look at the big majority of it. It just pancaked that hand flat back down. Took that whole block. Oh man, I just stepped in some nasty watermelons. But it took that whole block and just power dump squashed it. There's that big old hole where it must have came out the back. But man, that's crazy. But same thing on that one. I cannot wait to edit that footage to see that slow motion where that I'm assuming we're gonna get some of the block just all of a sudden open it up and poof once I slow the frames down on the footage. But hey, appreciate you guys watching big time. And just to save you guys the trouble, I told you at the beginning of the video, I had already done this with four other calibers. I'm going to go ahead and edit it so you guys can watch it right now. And you won't even have to go click another button. So if you don't like those two calibers, check out these four calibers. I'm going to roll that whole video in right here so you can watch it. And I got a fly on my hand. Check that out. Hey everybody how you doing out at the range today this is about to be a really fun video so you can see we have got blocks of clay and we have four very common hunting calibers we have the 3030 65 creedmoor then the 308 and then the 30 6 these are all lead tipped hunting rounds so they should be expanding and dumping a ton of energy on this clay but that's it we're shooting clay seeing how it explodes hopefully we can get some cool footage out of it but let me know what you think is going to cause the most disaster which one are you the biggest fan of but let's get to shooting i'm going to start right down here on the end with the 30 30. let's get to slinging some lead at some big old blocks of clay and see what happens here are the three rifles you'll notice the three on the left are very similar they are all bolt action guns so the 65 creedmoor the 308 and the 306 are all ruger american rifles with the exact same barrel length and then the 3030 here is a very nice quite old and quite classic model 94 so pretty sweet one right here for all you lever action fans all right so here we got the clay here on the table we're gonna go back down range and shoot it Let's see what happens. We're going to shoot the 3030 first. I think it's probably going to explode that whole piece of clay into about a million pieces, but let's see what happens. Here goes the shot with the 3030 here. Let's we'll see what happens to this clay. what I expected so I was standing at like I don't know five to ten yards and the clay went everywhere even a big piece of clay came back and slapped me in the neck so we might need to stand back a little bit I was hoping that box would catch some of the clay but nope it didn't so kind of looking at the aftermath there there's a pancake of it on the ground and it completely blew this box out and just sent it in all directions. Covered that wall, covered this wall. Man, I have got butterflies landing on my head. What in the world? You guys see these butterflies? What in the devil? Uh, apparently, I'm in Butterfly City right now. That 3030 just completely sent that clay in all directions. Let's see what the 6.5 Creedmoor does. I'm going to move the cameras a little bit further away because that clay exploded and knocked all my cameras over that were like three feet from it. So, see if we can get some footage of the 6.5 Creedmoor versus clay. Here goes the 6.5 Creedmoor into the clay. I put a piece of cedar stump behind it, so hopefully it doesn't all fly off the table this time, but let's see what happens. Hopefully I can hit it.
Nah. It all flew off the table again in every direction. Got my GoPro full of clay again. Literally between the 3030 and this shot was about half an hour of me cleaning my cameras off. But hey, we know deer rifles have a lot of power when it comes to shooting clay. So let me clean all this up and see if we can shoot the 308. Daggum it. There's some 6.5 clay on the ground. Clay on the ground. That log was split that was in there. A little bit of clay on the table. A little bit back there in the brush. And not a whole lot in there. The speed of the 6.5 Creedmoor just absolutely destroyed that clay and sent it everywhere. So, so far 6.5 Creedmoor beats the 3030. That clay that we just shot with the 6.5 Creedmoor was actually the clay from the 3030 shot that I just smashed back into a square. But we've got more clay. After that 6.5 shot, we're not going to be able to have enough to smash it into a square. So I'm going to go grab a whole new block. Let's shoot it with the 308 and see what happens. That speed off that 6.5 just pew, clay everywhere. Here goes the shot with the 308. This time I put the cedar stump behind the box. And maybe that'll help keep us from blowing off the back of the table here, but who knows? 308's probably going to drop the hammer on this clay just like everything else did. Try to hit it dead center here. See me jumping because I tried to catch my camera, but who doggy that 308 really did drop the hammer, and only one of my cameras fell down. So that was some amazing footage. Let's put all this back together, finish the video with the 30 out six, the one with the most power. Let's see what kind of damage the good old 30 out six will do to this clay. I think it's just gonna, yeah, go everywhere just like everything else did, but maybe even that much more. But we'll see what happens here. And, wow, I can tell you right now, the 30 out 6 definitely flew clay in all directions. And it went really high. I mean, I can see a piece that's that direction. Oh, about 15 yards, a big chunk of it. So, I think the 30 out 6 is the winner in the clay exploding contest. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, shooting that clay. That was a whole lot of fun getting the deer rifles out. Haven't shot the high-power rifles in a while, but... Let me know what your favorite deer rifle is. Did we shoot it today? Did we not shoot it today? I'm a big fan of the big bull rifles too. Gonna shoot some more of those soon. 450 Bushmaster, 458 SOCOM, 50 BMG, 4570, 338 Lapua, all those big ones. But shooting the most common deer rifles here today against that clay was a whole lot of fun. Let me know what you think did the best against the clay. Let me know what you use. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. A big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Link down below. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links down below. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -hoo.